It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Cyberpunk 2077 released at the end of 2020 after multiple delays left us super frustrated and anxious to finally play. It was being hyped up like crazy, with some gamers even making out like it's going to be some form of alternate reality to go and live in. But then it came out and, well... Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? All the development and the updates on the game are finally complete. So the question is, how is Cyberpunk 2077 now? Keep listening, V. What this Gonkast did next is a story I've been waiting for. Welcome to my notebook. Grab a cup of coffee and settle in. What? I've been dying to talk about this game. No one's working on it. It is finished. Finished, finished. Uh, almost like you would imagine it should have been when it hit shelves in 2020. Whew. Xbox uh, and PlayStation was so bad. I actually mentioned this in a, in a previous video that I made about how uh, Cyberpunk actually is now on the Xbox One. I, I can't believe they actually sold this to people. I mean, these were the people who made The Witcher. So, I mean, of course, it's going to be like amazing, right? And then this game comes out and it's just an absolute crap show. So by the time that they announced that they had decided to do an expansion called Phantom Liberty, they basically had new teams, they had a new, a whole new method of the way that they were approaching work. But then things got interesting because Phantom Liberty was on its way, but then they announced some new updates and these weren't just going to be some small updates. They announced overhauls. They brought in a whole new way to approach skill trees and progression and they changed out the way that your clothing works and the armor works where now and I'm, I'm not sure if it was a reaction to or combined with or what but the the netflix anime came out and it was really good and it was very well received but it also it also shone a light on some of the issues with the game because when you watch that show and you understand the way the cyberware really has an impact it made you immediately feel like the game was under delivering on the whole idea they brought in this whole new idea where your cyberware really dictates a lot of things about you your armor your you know your a lot of the abilities and then they changed it that your clothes are just for you know visual sort of style and things which i think is cool as well because you can make yourself look cool but then you can have crazy armor or nimble uh you know skills agility and things like that that's what they did and they combined that with these new skill trees where you could really now create a build that made a difference that you could really change the playstyle of your character and if you don't know phantom liberty adds a whole extra section to the map where there was sort of nothing before um but they they've added this whole section to the map that's it's it's not very big compared to the rest of the map but it's incredibly dense and and well designed that it it it, it offers quite a lot at, at the in the end and also it makes use of the rest of the map it's not like you're stuck in there for the duration of the expansion i came in with an idea and i was like okay this time around i'm playing a female v i played a male the first time when i played the 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 full campaign and i wanted to have a cyber ninja i wanted a cyber ninja that was going to be able to like dart around and i wanted to use katanas a lot and deflect bullets and stuff like that like i just i didn't even know what the game was fully going to be able to cater to i started playing the game and i started working through the skill trees and figuring them out and installing cyberware and things like that my word did the game just deliver i eventually landed up building up a character which was so much like what i had envisioned i couldn't believe it i was doing exactly what i'd hoped i was darting around deflecting bullets i could pull out guns but i was using my katana a lot uh doing a lot of like melee attacks and things like that and it was just so cool and it was so different to the first playthrough i had where i had originally played someone who does a lot of hacking and things like that whereas now my character was like sort of technologically not that educated so i actually couldn't hack many things and i got to so many scenarios where in the past i would just hack something and move through but now i had to think about sneaking around or doing something else so how cool was that and i'm not someone who likes to replay games much so even when i have to play through sections again i get sort of annoyed but this game really delivers a lot of even what i loved about games like deus ex where 
you really had this emergent gameplay where you get to a scenario and you like well i could talk to that person or i could hack that thing or i could climb in that crate or i could just go in guns a blazing right so here I was with my new character and everything was just going really great. I'm having a whole new gameplay experience that's that's really significantly different to the first time I played the game. And not just in the way of what class I've gone with, but just because of how different it can be. And you can go in vastly different directions. You can, you know, go put on one of those sand stands and you can get heavy weapons or you can play with, you know, stealth only. You can do all these things. This game really does deliver the freedom to give you those sorts of experiences now the phantom liberty expansion itself is really good it's really really good and i mean they brought in idris alba they've they brought back keanu reeves game is now firing on all cylinders the graphics are looking so good the art direction in phantom liberty as well is just incredible like those areas look so cool the gameplay is now good the they've added extra customizations there's you know the vehicles are feeling good there's now gun combat in the cars that you can do when the game first came out you could basically smash a car into a crowd or into another car in the city and nothing would happen like there was nothing it's worth noting now that it's still not the unrealistic game that was expected what it is is very special this is a game that if you just look at it from the point of view of a a sort of western first person role-playing game it's not just good it's i would say among the best at this point if you look at who it's going up against we're talking about games like bethesda's games right so you got your fallout your skyrim your starfield and then also something like you know i think about even like what are my favorite series of all times uh which is mass effect and mass effect 2 which was one of my favorite games of all time and this game has put itself up there it has put itself right up there so if it isn't abundantly clear right now i highly very very highly recommend cyberpunk 2077 and phantom liberty in its current state if you haven't played this it's just you you cannot miss it it's so good right now and if you have played it and you didn't return to it after phantom liberty definitely take a look i loved it the the, the updates to the game alone that you can come back to and re-experience if you've played it before are worth it already and it's worth almost the whole full playthrough of the game again fingers crossed I love having a new place to just sit and talk about my thoughts and not worry too much about the straight reviews and the edits and everything but this is just so much better if I get to hear back from people and we get to chat about it so hit the comments and let me know as well like what do you think of cyberpunk what were your thoughts at first were you super disappointed did you did you vow to never come back did you actually come back how do you you know how do you like it have you played phantom liberty so yeah hit the comments and let me know I'd love to chat to you guys about it Thanks so much for watching my notebook. I've really enjoyed just getting these thoughts out. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button to let me know and make sure you subscribe so you can catch more videos in future. I'll see you soon.